So global warming. That's what I'm going to talk about today. Global warming is um is something that I think people are really overlooking and are underestimating the effects of. I think a lot of people are expecting, you know, global warming to be this kind of distant, kind of not really important, not really significant potential, maybe, you know, discomfort that will come up in the future. But it's something that, you know, we prefer to just be blind to, to ignore, to neglect. And I think there is no bigger mistake than something like that. Not necessarily even global warming, just climate change in general. It's, um, first of all, it's something that so many scientists are pushing to sort out to kind of address because the effects of it are honestly going to be unparalleled to virtually anything that we've really seen before. And that might not be in our lifetime. That doesn't mean it isn't our responsibility to play a part in avoiding that and preventing that from happening. So, you know, if you don't really know about the whole idea of what global warming is, what it involves, basically it's um, it's the idea that, you know, the global temperatures are rising all around the world because of human activities. And it's about the effects that those activities are going to have and those rising temperatures are going to have on the world. And that involves both, you know, humanity, but also wildlife, really all living things that kind of are involved in this world. Now, this is something that's really easy, I think, to neglect. This is something that people often, you know, want to look past because they think it's, you know, it's not that important, it won't affect them, whatever it is. But that's a really, I think, irresponsible opinion to have. Because I think it will affect you, and I think it's already starting to affect you, whether you recognize that or not. I think people are already, you know, noticing changes in their, in the weather of their, you know, their local community, wherever they're from, wherever they live, whatever. I think people are already starting to notice that. I think people are starting to notice that things are changing around them. They're noticing that the summers are feeling hotter, that the winters are shorter, that, you know, they notice that they're always feeling more lethargic when it's hot outside. They're noticing that even the weather channel is reporting unusual temperatures to expect. All those things, you know, they might seem minor, they might seem like small changes, but they're, they're not small changes. And it's really important that we're responsible about this and we are aware of this and open to understanding the effects our actions will have. <clears throat> I think we all have a responsibility to look after this world that we've been given. This planet that is so unbelievably incredible in its capacity su to support life. And I don't, I think it's irresponsible to exploit that and take advantage of that fascinating privilege, unlikely event, whatever you want to call it. Because the reality of it is that it's so incredibly unlikely, and it's insane. No. Now, if you haven't noticed, you know, changes that have resulted because of this whole climate change thing, believe me, you will. And if you don't, your loved ones will. The kids you have in the future, or now, will notice this. This isn't something that's going to go away. This is something that's going to have direct 
effects on people we know, on people we love, on the people around us. And I think it's unwise to be, to not be aware of the changes that are going to happen and not be prepared and just push them to the side. I'm sure you may disagree with me. You, th you may think, you know, uh, that's uh, I don't care. I'm going to be, you know, dead in a few years or decades. Why do I, why should I care? And sure, you can think like that, but where are we going to see progress if we think like that? We have a duty to the future generations to make the world a better place for them, to make it somewhere that they can live in safely, to make it safe, to make it secure. And we're doing the opposite. And I don't appreciate having been brought into this world as a young person where my the generation of my grandparents have been so utterly irresponsible that my generation and my kids and my grandkids are going to have to pick up the pieces that have been left behind. Because the generation of our grandparents were too irresponsible to look after this planet they've been given. And I appreciate that this video is going to be, hopefully, viewed by future generations. And if future generations are watching this, know that I apologize on behalf of my generation, my ancestors, the people around me, for the sheer disrespect and tragic mindset that people around me have had. And that I'm sorry. Now you may be wondering, you know, there's a lot of people out there, myself included, who have gone through this experience in life of being aware of what's going on around the world, being aware of this threat of climate change and feeling powerless, feeling like there's nothing you can do. And as a result, not changing anything because you don't know where to start. And, you know, it's okay not to know, but ignorance isn't okay. And if this is something you, should, you care about, this is something you should look into. Because there are things that we can do, you and I can do, every day, that can make a difference. Things as simple as turning off a bathroom light when you're not in the bathroom. And yeah, you know, it's easy to think there's so many people in the world that me making one small change like that makes no difference. By definition, it makes a difference. It has a direct mathematical difference. You are a person doing actions. By definition, the effects of your actions will alter outcomes. And if every person on earth felt that way, that, oh, what I do doesn't matter, there would never be any progress because everyone would be so self-obsessed with the fact that they can't make a difference that we'd never ever see progress. The reality is you can make a difference and it may be a tiny difference, it may be even immeasurable, but that doesn't take away from the fact that you have the power to alter something You are a person in the human race, just like anyone else. And you have the power to make changes for things you are passionate about, for things that you think are important, for things that 
you want to change. However small that power is, that power is not absent. You might think that choosing not to buy specific products because the environmental effect they have makes no difference because everyone else is buying them. That's not true. You... No, I'm not sitting here making this video to preach to you saying, Oh, you know, change your ways, the apocalypse is coming. I'm not saying that. What I am saying is that you should be aware of this threat that we call climate change. And you should be prepared to make changes. And if you're not prepared to make changes, you should be prepared to face the consequences that will arise. Now, one of the things I've heard a lot of people say is that, oh, it's only like 1.5 degrees the average global temperatures have risen. Oh, that means nothing. 1.5 degrees Celsius. That's barely anything. You can't even notice that. Bear in mind that's average global temperature. So that's average. So that's if you take everywhere around the world. That doesn't mean that everywhere is getting hotter by 1.5 degrees. That means some places could get colder by a massive amount. And some places could be hotter by a massive amount. So that's not a wise argument to make. If that's what's stopping you, frankly, don't look at statistics because statistics, you know, they give us insight. They give us a kind of idea of what's going on. And if you want to look at them, fine. But if you're worried about the effect that your change is having, don't bother with statistics. Focus on what you believe and what you think is actually going to make a difference, what you can change in yourself to make a difference. Set goals for yourself. If you're, you know, living on your own and you're, you are self-sufficient now, set goals for yourself to check your, you know, your electricity usage at the end of the month and bring it down to as low as you possibly can. The point I'm trying to make in this video is that be aware that there's these threats that are facing us in the future. And if these are things that, you know, you're not comfortable with, you don't want to happen, make a change, whether that's an individual one, whether you're in a position to influence others. If you're in a position to influence others to make changes in their lives, make sure you take that to your advantage. Make sure you push those around you to make positive changes to benefit the future. Your actions are significant. Your actions make changes. Be aware of that. And be grateful for that. Be grateful for the fact that you are in a position to make a change, a direct change to your society, to your environment around you. That was a sick bucket clutch, I can't lie. Like, I'm not really that good at this game, but you gotta give it to me, that was decent. Anyways, let me know what you think about this, because if you think I'm just, you know, sitting in my room scaremongering, tell me, because that's not my intention, that's not what I'm trying to do. I'm trying to raise awareness to the fact that I think is very important for all of us. And if you don't see it that way, that's okay. But maybe be careful about what you see as the alternative. And let me know if you think anything I've said, you know, doesn't help with the issue, doesn't help, you know, address the issue. Let me know of ways that you think I can help address the issue more. Right, I'm going to build a nether portal now, so hopefully that goes well. So what I want the result of this video to be is, first of all, maybe a wake-up call to you. Maybe a, something that triggers something in your mind and your thoughts about what you can do to 
Make a difference. Make the world better. But I also want this to be considered as an apology to future generations about what really is going on. And about why things are the way they are. An apology for the behaviour of my generation and on behalf of my generation. Because frankly, some of us are too self-centred to even be aware of it to apologise in the first place. And I know this is, you know, a bit of a hard video, if you know what I mean. It's pretty heavy, but it's reality. And to be blind to that is to be misguided, to neglect such a pressing problem is unwise, I think. Right, the moment of truth. Let's go. Oh, beautiful. Another fortress right there. That is perfect. This is actually a very solid spawn. I'm very happy with this. Thank you for watching. I hope I could tap into some of your guys' minds and your thought processes. And just make you think a little bit. That's all I want to do. I just want to make you think. Take some time to consider what I said and reflect on it. Thank you for watching. Bye-bye.